Sagittarius, my fight sign, Sagittarius. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and you've never been to my channel before, my name is Queen of Wands 1111 and welcome to our channel. You guys, thank you for watching. And if you clicked on this video, if you were drawn to this video, it is for you, okay? And for all my returning subscribers, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. So right now, right now, right now, right now. Let's get into this reading and see what's coming towards you for December all the way up into January. All right, let's see what's coming in for you. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Let's see what your person's been hiding, what they're trying to hide, all of that good stuff, okay? So if it doesn't fit to your story, do not force it. Do not make it stick to your story. Sagittarius is okay. Just leave it for somebody else and take whatever resonates with your story, male or female, ladies and gentlemen. This is for everyone. This is not gender specific, okay? Somebody ghosted you. Wow. Without notice. No call, no text, no show. Why? Why did this person disappear? Uh, because they want no strings attached. They didn't want to be tied down. Uh, they was keeping some sort of secrets from you, Sagittarius. They didn't want you to know that they had a secret lover or a secret admirer around them. I feel like you're moving in silence because you don't know the whole story. And there's more to be revealed here. So you're moving in silence. You're not really saying nothing about what you know. Or you're just not saying as much, okay? But there's more to be revealed. Yeah, you broke up with them or they broke up with you. That's confirmation. Press four if you can see the words clearly, okay? But I feel like they broke up with you or you broke up with them. Because of the secrets, they ghosted you. Why did this person ghost my Sagittarius? Uh-uh. You're not having that. Why did this person ghost you? They want to fight for you, but why? Why did they ghost you? Why did, Sag why did Sagittarius get ghosted by this person? Let us know. Let us know. Okay, there's some heartbreak attached to why they ghosted you. This person is is got you losing sleep over here. Okay? You could be worried about what happened or this person is somebody's replaying events over and over again in their mind. They're thinking about the other person a lot. You're thinking about them a lot. You're worried that you may have to move on if they broke up with you. You may be worried that you have to move on and let this go and just free yourself and love up on you. Or this person is losing sleep. They're heartbroken because you're letting go and moving on. They probably thought that you wasn't going to go nowhere. They probably thought that they could just come and go in and out of your life and you would be there still. Ready for them to fight for you. Ready to open your arms up and take them back. That's what they That's what they thought. Because now that you're moving on, loving you and letting go, they want to fight for you. Or you're trying to fight for them. I don't know who's fighting for who. But I feel like somebody had their options open. And it was treating you like an option, treating you like a side piece. Yeah, like you wasn't the main character, like you wasn't the main lady or the main male, like you wasn't that beach or that man, like you are that one. And it was treating you like you wasn't. Yeah, you could be a divine masculine or there's a masculine in your energy who is a player. This person is non-committal, they're a sweet charmer. They treat you good, but they just play games with your heart. They play a lot of games. They got a sneaky link out here. So that's why they ghosted you, huh? Because they was keeping secrets from you, hiding this sneaky link. They broke up with you because they got somebody else over here that they dealing with. Okay? They got somebody else over here that they dealing with. And they was they thought this was good news for them. They was happy and excited because they was getting a lot of attention. They love attention. They was getting a lot of attention from the sneaky link. You may have been stalking this person, trying to find out some more information, trying to see what they up to. Okay, or they stalking you because you getting attention. You may have some good news coming in for you. You're going to be happy and excited. And they stalking you. Okay, take it how it resonates. All right, there's somebody that's obsessed with you or your person. You could be stalking and found out that there's a, a third party who's obsessed with your person. The third party's interfering. You, Yeah, you're getting justice. I feel like balance will be restored in your life. I also feel like you could be taking someone to court and they want to come reconcile with you. So they're coming back. They'll be back. If they ghosted you, they'll be back because I feel like it ain't working out. This obsessed third party could be stalking the shit out of your person. Okay, if this is not you, 
stalking them. They stalking you. They could be stalking you. Or this third party is stalking them. Because they're coming back to you. All right. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah, because they're full of shit. Or, I mean, regret. Ugh. They feel guilty and remorseful. And they want to undo the damage. But spirit got a, a plan. Spirit could be testing you. This could be a test to see if you fall for the okie dokie. Let's see what's going on. Is this third party still around? Is this third party still around in this person's energy? In Sagittarius, this person's energy. Is this third party still around? Spirit, one more shuffle. Oh my God. Spirit got a lot to say. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Oh my God. Is the third party still around? I don't know, but they just stuck on these past memories here. Something, somebody sprayed something so strong. It's burning my freaking eyes. Yeah, somebody stuck on these past memories. There's feelings of nostalgia. They're thinking about the good and bad times. This person is in their head or they always keep you in your head. You may be the one that is stuck on these past memories here. But there's unexpected love coming your way. Press four if you can see the words clearly. It may be me. I sprayed something on me earlier. And it's burning my freaking eyes. Something is burning my freaking eyes. I may have to take this shirt off, y'all. Because it's burning the shit out of my eyes, okay? Yeah. So there's somebody coming into your life. And you may have to let this ex go, okay? Or you letting them, you letting their ass go now? Or this is in the near future, okay? It's over. No more drama, no more stress. You're going to realize once you let this go, there's not going to be no more drama in your life. No more stress. The anxiety, the stress is going to lift up off you. You're not going to be in your head overthinking, creating scenarios in your head about this person. You're not. You're going to be living again with this new person that's coming into your life. This person is a mystery. So spirit don't want you to know too much about this mystery lover, but they're a sexy secret admirer. They're real sexy. Okay? And they always wanted you. They've been watching you. And they shy. But they ready to come forward. I feel like whoever is watching you, this could be a third party. This mystery lover coming into your life. If you still holding on to this past person, they obsessed with your ass. If you let go of this past person or if you are letting go of them, then you have no third parties, right? Somebody getting pulled over. Somebody's getting pulled over. Yeah, I'm telling you, this unexpected love is going to help you find love again. You're going to find love. They're going to make you believe in love again. Hmm. What's the outcome? I feel like, yeah, somebody's looking you up on Instagram. Trying to make you jealous. You could be moving, buying a new house, selling your house, changing careers, moving to a different city, state, country, town. This person is smoking or drinking because they're stressed out and thinking about you. They got a sex addiction here, y'all. They got a sex addiction and they could be threatening you. Don't fucking leave me or I'll kill myself or don't leave me or I'll, I'll do this and that. I don't know. I don't know. But somebody got feelings for you out here. But I'm telling you, this ex was trying to treat you like a side piece. They were trying to treat you like you was a side. And you were not a side. They caused these illusions. They was trying to make you believe a lie. They made you believe some sort of lie. I'm telling you, somebody went back to their ex. So this person ghosted you and they didn't want no strings attached. And they was keeping secrets and broke up with you because they went back to their ex. They didn't want you to know that they went back to their ex. And you've been hiding the pain behind the shades. You wear some fly ass shades here. Okay. But I feel like you've been hiding this pain. If you ain't been hiding pain. Somebody's hiding some pain. Let's see who's hiding the pain behind these shades. Oh. Somebody you blocked. Somebody you blocked. Or when they got back with their ex. You've been hiding your pain behind your shades. Because they blocked you. They may have blocked you, blocked you out of their life. Yeah, they gave somebody else a love offer. Okay. But I see you leveling up. Okay. They want to bring you this love offer. They want to, yeah, because you're leveling up. Making money, new career, financially stable. 
They may want to try to keep this thing private. Like, no, no. But you're going to be miserable as fuck if you get back with this person. Because I'm telling you, their secrets are going to come out. It's going to be more shit that you're going to find out. Like I told you, you don't know the whole story. Karma is coming for, look, karma coming in for somebody. Bad karma too. Bad karma. Some sort of karma coming through for this person. Something is burning my eyes, y'all. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Something. It smells good, but it's burning the shit out of my eyes. All right, y'all. Ooh, Lord. Mmm. All right, y'all. This reading is juicy. Let's get some uh tea. Let's spill some tea. See what what's going on. Okay, so that's why I'm gonna put in the title. Oh, that's why they ghosted you. All right, that's why they ghosted you. But y'all, mm. you could be this divine masculine. Press four if you can see the words clearly. If my words not flip, press four in the comment section. Okay, let me know you can see the words and what I'm showing you. Don't just sit there looking at me and not saying shit, okay? Y'all supposed to be my family members. Y'all supposed to be my subscribers. Let me know what's going on, all right? Or there's a divine masculine around you who is just shady as fuck, okay? They wear glasses, some dark, mean dark pair of shades, okay? So they don't want you to know that they gaslighting you. And they hiding behind the shades because they're a gaslighter. All right, they're dishonest and they give off that impression. You have to question them a lot. You're very suspicious. They suspicious. They act sus like suspicious all the time. And you have your suspicions about them. They're untrustworthy. They can't be trusted. They don't trust nobody. You don't trust them. All right, yeah. They're a cheater, Sagittarius. They're a cheater. They sleep around while they have a partner. So they like third party energies. They, they're not fair. They don't play fair. They treat you unfair. They're unfaithful. And they don't want to settle down with just one person. But they want to be in your life. That's that's not good. That's that's really dirty. Okay. Are you going to a party? Or some sort of celebration? Are you about to turn up and be outside? Like what's going on? Or was this person lit? Turned up? Partying with people? What was going on here? This person is a chaos agent. They work for the chaos agency. Okay. So someone purposefully causes chaos for mischief. Like they think this is cute. They laugh about this. When they cause you stress in your life and mischief, they laugh at this. Okay. You may be someone who's religious and goes to church or they do. They may be... Feeling like they're holier than thou, okay? But they really cause a lot of chaos. Hmm. They have this lust for you or passion for you. I don't know. Is this person using you for sex? Okay, or they just have some sort of an addiction. I'm telling you, this person causes disappointment in your life. Okay, things not going in your favor when it comes to this person. Someone or something has caused sorrow. This person is a trickster. They talking mad shit about you. You could be talking shit about them. They saying unnecessary shit behind your back, talking crap about you to others, but it's not true. Whoever you in a soul contract with, a twin, a karmic, or somebody you thought was your soulmate. All right. This person loves to play games. They love to play head games, mind games, all right? But they broke. They broke his shit because they, they always spend all their money, all right? They spend a lot of their money. But you are a star or you get ready to have a platform. I feel like you're being popular, very successful. You're being recognized and known or this is going to happen for you in the near future. And you're going to be happy about this. Happiness is here or it's on its way. I do see you expressing gratitude and pleased with life because things are going well for you. Yeah, you're bossing up. Get into that bag, creating abundance and a legacy for your life. 
You got a psycho, a psychotic person in your energy. They may have a mental health issue. I feel like they're going to offer you a fake apology. But they don't care what is right or wrong. They show you like they're very violent or they don't speak much. You blocking this person. Yeah, and there's a glow up coming through for you. Okay, major glow up here. All right, but you may be feeling lonely, but this person refuses to let you go. But then they want to play with you. Like, if that's not, I don't know, this person needs therapy or some sort of counseling here. They need help. All right, I don't know what's wrong with this person. This person got an issue. Okay, they may have a whole lot of different issues here. <laughs> um, They got some issues with them, okay? Psychotic. Psycho. Okay, they may go through mania or something. Y'all be careful with this energy because I'm telling y'all. Let me uh, flip this up right. This person. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. Something is burning my freaking eyes, y'all. I know I keep saying that, but it's like annoying because I don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's my spray, but I smell some strong ass spray. It's burning my eyes, y'all. Like, <laughs> what is this? Okay, you need to focus on your business, your company, if you have one. All right, you, you, yeah, you need to focus on your money. Okay. You feel lonely when you're with this person. This person may have a lot of money. Okay. You just feel lonely with them. They make you feel lonely. Hmm. They're getting bad karma. I feel like things not going to be looking so good for this person. Yeah, but I see you on your emperor or emperor shit. You're bossing up. You got your own company or you're getting ready to start your own business here. This could be a same-sex relationship or you just want people to take you more seriously. But I see you bossing up and only controlling the things that you can control. But this person is very controlling. Very controlling and confusing. They have their options open. They try to come off like they're an emperor, but they really like somebody that's confused and don't know what they want. They got a lot of options here. A lot of people that they that they dealing with, but all these options is not not valid. There's a snake in one of these cups. Okay, I feel like this person make you emotional. You're closing your heart space off. You're protecting your heart space because this person clearly is confused, causes confusion and illusion in you guys' relationship. Try to put you in some sort of an illusion or create an illusion around you. Okay, Seven of Cups could also be lies about another woman or another man, okay? But I feel like you're in search of your emotions or your intuition concerning this person. Okay, you still love this person, but it's like you can't express it. You can't show it. You can't say nothing about it because how they acting? Hmm. But your intuition is telling you this. You have strong ability here. Your intuition is telling you to cut this person off. Okay. You may have already did this. You may have divorced this person or you're getting ready to. Or you're keeping it a secret. Like you could be serving them divorce papers on the low though. Like shh, keep it on the hush. Don't tell nobody. All right. I ain't going to tell nobody. But yeah, that's the truth. I feel like this person, they want to talk to you. They want to tell you some sort of truth, give you some sort of clarity. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's a broken marriage, a broken family, a broken home. It's not, uh, this person is not loyal. They're non-committal. They may not have no money. They may owe people a lot of money. They could be in debt. Or this is you. Your bank account could be in the negative. Negative 300 and something dollars. Negative 56 dollars, okay? Y'all need to focus on y'all bread. That's the first card that came out. King of uh, Pentacles. Y'all need to focus on your money. Yeah. You dropping this person. Two of Pentacles reverse. You dropping them? Yeah. I told you this person need counseling, therapy, something. They need to go to therapy, counseling, or something. I don't know what they need. They need to do it. 
This could be your baby daddy, baby mama. There's a lot of emotion between the two of you. It's getting stronger, y'all. Something's burning the hell out of my eyes. All right, but you're getting over this person. You're getting over the heartbreak, the pain, the deceit. You're getting over it. Or you will be getting over it. All right, what just fell? Missed opportunity. Yeah, this is a missed opportunity. You're not carrying these burdens anymore. You're dropping the burdens, the stress. You're dropping it. All right. Wow. That's crazy. Something's coming in for you really quickly here. And I feel like you're taking this leap of faith towards something new. This could be a new person, a new job, a new idea. You know, you could even be traveling here. You're manifesting, trying to make something happen. I feel like this person wants to speak to you. But this person act like they didn't care. They didn't give a fuck. They ignored you. I feel like this person was also manipulative. <clears throat> and now they're in regret. Feeling guilty and remorseful. And, and sad and crying and feeling some sort of way. Why? Why is this person feeling like this? Uh, because they don't want this to be over. But they don't want to change either. They're resistant to this change. They don't want to change and be better. Mm, that's their fault. So they feel, yeah, left out in the cold. You may have put them out the house. Or they could be homeless. Or they just packed their stuff and left you. Because they did ghost you now. They did ghost you because they had went back to their ex. Remember in the beginning of the read what they did. So with this five of pentacles, they may have left you with no money, no food, nothing. They didn't give you nothing, right, when they left. But I feel like for some of you, you may have put them out or they just packed their stuff and left for no reason, right? Left you out in the cold. And you've been feeling abandoned, neglected, lonely. This person has a scarcity mindset. That's why they don't want to change. They don't have a job either. They may have lost their job. They may not have a car. Mm. Yeah, you broke up with this person. Three of Wands. I feel like even though they left or whatever, you were still waiting around for them. Waiting. Still waiting. There's still the energy of waiting. Somebody's waiting. Whether this is you or them, somebody is waiting. And I feel like this, for some of y'all, this could be you waiting. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? What is this? Uh, you waiting for them to receive judgment? <laughs> some sort of judgment, okay? They got, they had you in a third party. I told you, they, they was a third party. This person is deceitful, misleading. They was trying to spite you for some reason. This person was someone that was playing head games, mind games with you. Yeah, they don't think you want nothing stable. I feel like this person ain't stable either. But they feel like you just have no chill. You have no patience. Hmm. Why do they see you as the temperance in reverse? That's Sagittarius. That's your energy. Why do they see you like this? As imbalanced. This person may have like bipolar or they may feel like you bipolar. This person may have like schizophrenia or some sort of other mental uh, or imbalance in the brain or the body here. They plan is something. All right, they feel like you don't want to balance things out or heal things with them because you're planning something. You're planning what? They don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to be the one that got away. <sighs> All right, but I feel like it's over. They're going to try to spoil you with gifts, give you bags, money. They're going to try to be, uh, try to spoil you here. Because they're seeing you from a different perspective. This person is mad, though, because they don't want you to go. But I feel like they are narcissists. Yeah, they, I don't know. They was doing a lot of shit to get under your skin. Mm, trying to stress you out. But it's like, you, you need to set healthy boundaries here. You've been going through a lot of anxiety and stress dealing with this person. Some of y'all may have even been, like, in a hospital. Because of this damn person. Because you know relationship stress can put you in the hospital. And you can develop different health problems. Dealing with somebody's fucking bullshit. Alright. But they're worried that you got new love coming in. And, and you're going to sneak off. I'm telling y'all with the four of swords. They're thinking about you a lot. And somebody been in the hospital. 
Somebody definitely had, but you could have been praying for your soulmate, your real soulmate to come in. Yeah, you see this person as a coward. You lost all respect for them. They mad because you blocked them or you're avoiding them and focusing on your money here. They want you to drop your guard and get over this, but you have no clarity. You don't know what's going on. This person leaves you in the dark a lot. They keep secrets from you. You don't know where you stand with them. That's why you're walking away. And they don't want you to, but it's not what they want. It's what you want. Because at the end of the day, this person's not treating you right at all. They're not. They're, they're no. They're pretending. They're, they're acting. They're acting like they're this emperor. Like they're commit, like they're commitment tight. Like they're uh, a boss, like they're faithful, like they are have structure and, and all of this stability in them, but they really don't. They really don't. They don't. They try to come off like that, but it's not. No. They act like that too, these other options, these third parties. But I feel like everybody's going to know who this person truly is. The truth is going to be exposed about this person. Everybody's going to find out. All right, whether you say something about this or expose them or these people just going to find out on their own. Like, you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to say nothing, you know. Just let everybody find out. on They're going to receive judgment. All their options is going to leave them. They got options now, but they ain't going to have them for long because, like I said, God and Archangel Michael's about to rain judgment on them. And whatever their karma is, I don't know. They may be broken, homeless, and destitute. They may not. All the options may leave them. They may not have a car. They may not make any more money. Like, they're going to be unstable. They're not welcome into your home anymore. Um, uh, they may have to live in a hotel room. I don't know. I, I just seen a lot of messages there, but... Sagittarius's reading was interesting, and if you want to see more readings like this, make sure you hit that big like button. Hit that like button. Let's get these likes up. Comment down below and let me know what's going on. Give me your feedback. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Click that big red subscribe button. Turn your post notification on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Sagittarius. I'll see y'all in the next reading.